Lana and today I am going to be showing you guys a makeup tutorial on the new Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and let me tell you guys this palette is absolutely amazing. Um, so I'm going to open it and this is what the colors range from. There's like all nice neutral tones and browns and then these beautiful two colors that they threw in there which I thought was a really really good idea. Um, they threw in like a really beautiful sparkly pink and then a very nice um, bluish navy color and these colors are so stunning and you will see how pigmented they are in the tutorial that I'm going to show you coming up. Um, and honestly, like you guys, like I would recommend these palettes to anybody. Both of these two are just amazing. I think they're such good products. Too Faced makes amazing products. Okay. So if you guys want to know how I got this neutral um, fall, winter type of makeup look, please keep watching this video and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so what I'm first going to start off by doing is put some tape on the ends of my eyes just to make a more precise line and prevent any fallout when I'm putting my eyeshadow. Now I'm going to take Max Paint Pot in Painterly and I'm going to use this as the primer for my eyeshadow. And then I'm going to take my Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm going to take the color Peanut Butter. Then I'm going to take my MAC 224 blending brush and I'm just going to blend it in the crease. And I love this color so much because it gives your eyes a nice warm look to them. And now I'm going to take the palette again and take the color Butter Pecan. And I'm going to take my MAC 239 eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to put it all over my lid. I'm going to pack it on as much as I can. And I love this color too because it's very, very nice just all over your lid or also as a highlighting shade. Now I'm going to take the palette once again and take the color Truffled. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my MAC 219 pencil brush and I'm going to put it right in my crease to add more depth and dimension to my eye. Now I'm going to take the color Hot Fudge and I'm going to take my Real Techniques shading brush which is an absolutely amazing brush and I'm going to blend it on the outer V of my eye just to make my eye appear more smoky. Okay, and I'm going to take the color Butter Pecan again, and then I'm going to take my MAC 219 pencil brush, and I am going to put it um, right on the corner of my eye, and then also blend it towards the smoky part of my eye, just to make it a more gradient look, and make it not as harsh as it looks right now. And now I'm going to take the color Coconut Cream and I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to pat it on the middle of my eye just to highlight my lid a little bit more. And I love this technique too because it really just makes a huge difference in brightening up your eyes. And now I'm going to go back in with the color Peanut Butter again. I'm also going to take my MAC 224 blending brush once again. And I'm just going to blend it out um, on my crease a little bit more. And now I'm going to take my Kat Von D Liquid Eyeliner, which I am absolutely in love with. It is so amazing and so easy to apply and make wings with because I'm always having trouble making wings sometimes. But today was a good day when I made these wings, thank goodness. And 
this step right here is optional, but um, I just wanted to crisp up my wings a little bit more. So I did take some liquid concealer um, and I took my E15 um, flat definer brush by Sigma. And I basically just put the concealer right at the edge of the wings just to make them more precise. And then I go back in with the same liquid eyeliner just to touch it up just a little bit. And now we're going to go on to the face. So I'm going to take my favorite face primer, um, which is the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant Yellow. And I just basically put five dots on my face and just blend it everywhere as much as I can. And I also um, will up blending it on my neck, which you guys will see in a second, just because foundation does go on your neck. And you do want to make sure that your neck is also primed as well. And now for foundation, I'm going to take my L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade W5, which is also called Sand Beige. And then I'm going to take my MAC 188 foundation brush, and I'm just going to put it all over my face. And I absolutely love this foundation. It matches my skin tone so nicely. And probably L'Oreal is one of my favorite drugstore brands, um, and they also probably have the best foundation out there for drugstores. I'm also going to keep blending it on my neck as well because it does look weird when your face is a different skin tone than your neck. So I am going to blend it as much as I can to make sure there's no harsh lines or streaks on my face. And now I'm going to take my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NC30 and I'm going to apply it on the treble areas of my face that I usually cover up, which is like scars from pimples or some beauty marks on my face that I rather not be there. And I usually just put it on my chin, um, around my nose area, and also on my forehead. Now I'm going to take my favorite MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20 and I'm going to apply it with my fingers and put it under my eyes, on my forehead, on my chin, and on my nose. And I basically just put it wherever I want to highlight my face. And I am going to take my Sigma um, Tapered Kabuki Brush and it's the F86 and I'm just going to pat it onto my under eye area, my chin, my nose, and my forehead just to give it a more smooth and not cakey look. And now I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Medium. And sorry for that face, it's very, very powdery and it falls and crumbles really easily, but I do still love it. And I am going to take my MAC 150 powder brush and I'm just going to put it all over my face just to set my foundation. And I feel like you always have to put powder and I just feel like your foundation is just not set if you do not put powder. Okay, and then now I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm going to take the shade Banana. Set the concealer and I'm going to apply it with a Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to pat it under my eyes, on my nose, um, on my forehead and on my chin as well. And now I'm going to take my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in the shade Light Medium. I absolutely love this bronzer. It is so natural and it smells so good. And I'm going to apply it with a MAC 109 brush. And I'm just going to start at the top of my ear and then just work my way downwards. And I am going to be patting it and blending it as much as I can in circular motions just so it's not too much of a harsh line and just so it looks way more natural. And when I'm done putting it on my cheeks, I'm going to start putting it on my forehead and my temples just to outline my face a little bit more. Um, 
and then I'm going to put it on my chin and then I'm going to carve my jawline and put some more bronzer there as well and I'm also going to put some on my neck as well but you did not see that because I got cut out and now I'm going to take my MAC blush it blush and peaches excuse me my MAC blush and peaches which I love this color it's a beautiful color for fall and I really thought it looked really nice with this makeup look and I did take my MAC 29 blush brush and now I'm going to take my favorite highlighters known to man, the Becca Highlighter in Opal, and I'm going to apply it with my Sigma F35 Tapered Highlighter Brush. I'm just going to put it right above where my blush is, and I'm just going to also, you will see in a second, put it on my temples, and I'm also going to put it on my nose, my forehead, and my chin, whichever areas on my face I want to highlight, and then I also did put it on my cupid's bow as well. And now for the eyebrows, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the color Dark Brown, which is my favorite brow product that I use. It's the only brow product I use, basically, but it's so amazing. So I'm going to just um, carve my brows with this. And this step right here is optional as well, but I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer again and I'm just going to put it on my hand. And I am going to take my E15 um, Flat Definer Brush by Sigma once again. And I'm going to define my eyebrows more with this concealer. It just makes them look a lot more sharp and more precise if you do use this technique, but it is optional. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I absolutely love this brow gel. It makes your eyebrows stay in place. It does not make them move at all. And it is amazing. Everything Anastasia makes is amazing. And now I'm going to take the color Coconut Cream again. And I am going to take my MAC 219 Pencil Brush once again. And I'm going to put the color on my brow, or sorry, underneath my brows, just to highlight my brows a little bit more. And I'm also gonna put it on the inner tear duct of my eye, just to brighten my eyes up more. And then I'm gonna take the color Truffled, and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line, just to give my eyes a little bit more of a smoky look. And plus, I really, really like it when eyeshadow is below eyeliner. I just think it looks a lot more clean and pretty. I just love it. That's just the way I've always done things. And then I'm going to take my Maybelline Line Express Black Eyeliner and this is the one I've been using for so long. It is so amazing and it's so cheap and it's very very good. And it is the color Ebony. And then I'm going to take my Buxom Mascara in Black is Black. And now I'm going to take the most beautiful lashes that I own and these are the House of Lashes and Pixie Lux. And I'm going to apply it with my go-to eyelash glue, which is the Duo Eyelash Adhesive. And after I apply them, I just go over with my Kat Von D Liquid Eyeliner again, just to um, go over the glue. Even though it should dry clear, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. I just go over it regardless, just to give it a more cleaned up look. And then I'm going to go in with my Buxom Mascara once again. I'm just going to coat um, the falsies a couple of times just to blend in my natural lashes with the fake ones. And then I'm going to take my Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara in black. And I'm just going to put it on my lower lashes. I use this and it is amazing. And now on to the lips. I'm going to take my Too Faced Lip Insurance Lip Primer. I love this thing. It really does prime your lips for any type of lipstick or lip gloss that you're going to put on. And it really does prevent bleeding and feathering on the lips. And I'm just going to put it all over just like as I would a lip gloss. And now I'm going to take my MAC Lip Pencil in the color Whirl, and I love this color. It's so natural, and it's such a nice color for the fall and winter. Now I'm going to take my NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Pops, and this is hands down my favorite color NYX lipstick that I have. It is my most used, and it's so natural, and it really does remind me of the Kylie Jenner lipstick that Kylie Jenner always wears.
when it's finished. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I would love for you guys to just thumbs up this video if you guys liked it. And this is my first video made on YouTube. And I hope you guys liked it. Um, and I would really appreciate it too if you guys really do like this video to subscribe to me. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.